Ooh, dramatic. <laughs> hey. hey guys, Omar here, and today we're gonna talk a little bit of filmmaking. Now, my original intent for this video was to rebuild the statues for you guys to show you my favorites. I think Daredevil's my favorite right now, although the Hulk is pretty cool, and I love Spider-Man's pose, and I was such a huge fan of Superman, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> what we're going to do instead is, you know, at first I was going to film for you guys putting the statues back together and talking about them, and I was like, eh, that's going to be a little boring. So the idea I had actually wasn't even for you guys. I just started to do it for myself. I wanted to you I wanted to create a little bit of a Fujifilm cinematic movie. And by the way, that is like the most used term on on YouTube is cinematic. How to get cinematic looks from your camera. And really what that means is it looks movie-like and what makes something movie-like is usually shooting wide open for one. And so the 16 millimeter 1.4 does that really beautifully. It also is great at getting really close up, but I'll get to that. And the 50, 50, by the way, we're recording on the new Deity D4 Mini. And so that was a little test of the <laughs> no, I'm testing out this mic. Uh, Deity sent me the microphone. Thank you, guys. I love microphones, by the way. So totally cinematic at 1.2 and totally cinematic at 1.4. These are the only two lenses I used. And one thing that I learned with this little project, this is, this is also a good lesson for you guys that are kind of bored. Some people have like sent me messages that they're like, they don't know what to do. They're bored with photography. And sometimes you gotta completely mix it up. Like I spent like two hours just shooting the, <laughs> the statues for that little two minute movie. And I was like completely enthralled and I was like into it so much. It really took me away and I was creating in a new way. So sometimes you do need to step away from photography and sort of create in a different way. Maybe start drawing or shoot a little video and uh, shooting the, the video for this, like composition was totally new. Even the thing that was killing me with this little movie was sequence of events. I kept switching between the 56 to the 1.4. For example, if I was gonna grab one of the statue's heads, I would set up my tripod, put the 56 millimeter 1.2 on the Fujifilm X-T3, which is what's filming me now, and I would shoot me grabbing the head, then I would hit pause, and then I'd have to switch lenses to the 1.4 <laughs> to shoot the head going on. or, And I could imagine that someone that shoots movies probably shoots everything out of sequence because in their mind, they can kind of piece it all together. Anyway, totally fun to be out of my comfort zone shooting with the two of these. Now, if you did like the look of my super feature film, I'm gonna give you my settings so that way you could replicate when you're you know, videoing your pets or your kids. Okay, the first thing is I shot in 4K, uh, 24 frames a second. 24 frames a second makes it look a little bit more movie-ish, but 24 frames a second is like the standard that Steven Spielberg uses, so I'm gonna too. Most of my YouTube videos, by the way, are at 30 frames a second. That always looks a little crispier and sharper for like lens reviews and photos. Uh, but this I shot, and this I'm shooting at 24 frames a second. So if I move around, <laughs> it's supposed to look like real motion. Uh, the other thing is you could shoot uh, everything at 60 frames a second. And what's beautiful about the X-T3 is it can shoot 4K 60. And then in post, uh, you can slow everything down to a 24 frames a second timeline. And that looks really beautiful too. So if you wanted to do video of your pets or, or kids running slow and laughing kind of thing, uh, shoot it at 60 frames a second and then slow it down. Now I did use the famous Eterna film simulation. Now. I have like a, a love don't like relationship with Eterna. Sometimes to me it looks great. Sometimes to me it looks a little too gold-ish, which I guess is what they're going for. And, and sometimes it's affected by white balance. So this right now is in Eterna film simulation, but I lowered the white balance to like 4,500 or so because it just looks too gold. I did a test of myself before I shot and I look completely goldish. I love gold. 
So you may want to try Pro Neg Standard. That one is a little bit more color neutral, but is the shadows are lifted up. Now, speaking of shadows, you want your shadows as much as you can to be very, very light. So in your camera, set your shadows to minus one or minus two, and that will give you a little flatter. Anything that's filmic or cinematic is pretty flat. Not a lot of contrast, okay? So Eterna, minus one uh, on shadows. Uh, and then for Eterna, I usually do plus two color. I started uh, videoing the statues, but the reds were not that red. They were all a little muted. When I bring it into post, I do raise the shadows just a little more to make it more cinematic. Now, the reason I use these two lenses is because they complemented the story really, really well. Like when I wanted anything beautiful or, you know, just completely still or standard, I went with the 56 millimeter 1.2. The Fujifilm X-T3 doesn't have IBIS, so it's on a tripod. And then I would shoot with 56 to get really nice close-ups of the statues. However, with all the scary kind of scenes, I use the 16 millimeter handheld on the Fujifilm X-T3 and the, didn't care about IBIS because if it's a horror movie or a suspense movie, there is camera shake. So I totally didn't care that it was like shaking a little bit. So that completely worked out. And this guy can get so close. I did a video on minimum focus distance on the 16 millimeter 1.4. I'll link that up below, but it's incredible. You can get so close to objects that it makes it a completely different lens. And so the close-up of the Hulk that I did, that was all with the 16 millimeter. And close-up, shot at 1.4, wide, and a little bit of motion gives a pretty cool cinematic scary effect. So I liked the 16 millimeter for that. Um, if I would try to shoot the 16 millimeter too far back, it started to look too youtube -y. Now, one last thing to note if you're filming with these uh, lenses is they're very noisy, the 16 millimeter and the 56. <laughs> if you have them wide open, the camera's constant, sorry, the lens is constantly working to stay in focus and it makes tons and tons of noise. So if you are gonna film like talking head or any kind of interview or anything with these lenses, you have to have your microphone far away from the camera so that it can focus and not make any noises into your microphone. So keep that in mind. All right, that was totally fun. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time.